This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Megas and bringing an old series back. I'm trying to reestablish my content where I can give you guys as much information as possible. Um, give you my impressions and give you something to look at as far as different games and content out there. You know, there's many games out there and sometimes they put demos out. So I'd like to play the demos and just give my quick thoughts on them so you guys can see the footage and maybe get some background information that you may not have known about the game. You know, just, you know, not trying to necessarily influence your decision, but just trying to help you move along and make a decision with information or, you know, just with some sound information to go off of before you do that instead of just, you know, just going out there in the wild, so to speak. But anyway, this is FIFA 16. Um, downloaded the demo very very quickly as opposed to the NBA live demo which we'll get to later um, so my impressions of this at first was uh, presentation as always is great um, EA does a great job of presentations when it comes to their uh, sports games um, it's probably their biggest uh, plus for EA Sports when it comes to these games but of course a lot of times we have issues with gameplay now FIFA FIFA has been that mixed bag where it's got a solid core but there's you know for veterans for true soccer players there's a lot left to be um, desired as far as how they execute certain things you know and that's just seems to be the way with the sports genre anyway there's few games out there within the sports genre that kind of totally hit the mark. There are games that do a pretty decent job, a solid job of representing the sport, and FIFA is one of those, but they don't necessarily get everything totally right. Now, as someone who's not a huge soccer fan, I can't sit here and tell you exactly, beat for beat, what they do right or wrong as far as the sport goes. You know, I have a basic knowledge of soccer. And I do understand that, you know, mechanically speaking, this game is pretty um, good. Uh, AI sometimes seems a little trippy. Uh, the auto switch feature doesn't seem to be um, as uh, smooth and flawless as it used to be. That could be partially due to the trainer aspect of the game. If you notice when you see some of the gameplay on the screen, you'll see that the icons showing how, what the, you know each button do will appear. That's the trainer mode. If you hit R3, you can turn it off, but for the demo, it was automatically on, and it basically is helping people who are new to the series get an understanding of what the functions are um, of the controls. You know, lets you know how to pass, how to switch players, things like that. And I feel like in some cases, it kind of got a little um, in the way. Um, I think one of the th reasons why my players wouldn't switch like they normally did in FIFA was because that trainer mode was on and they wanted to encourage me to switch players on my own. So I had to do a lot of switching on my own, which is perfectly fine. At times, the auto switch kind of like kills you. At other times, it's, it's a godsend because it puts you where you need to be so you can react better than what the AI does. So, you know, it, it's... It's one of those things that is just like, you know, it's a blessing and a curse. Um, it felt a little stiff as far as um, movement was in some areas. Again, that could have been to, uh, accustomed to the training mode. Um, I didn't play much with it off because I wanted to see how that felt and how it flowed and how to work. Since it was um, something that they never really pushed before. Uh, you know. Everything seems to work the way it normally does. There, there really isn't much variation as far as I can see. Um, I thought it was a neat touch that you can celebrate by hitting a button and things like that. But for the most part, FIFA is FIFA. Um, the biggest change that I saw in this demo was, of course, the um, football draft. Uh, basically, what you do in that is you now, when you're playing um, Ultimate Team, if you pick the draft mode, you have to pick your players 
um, you're giving uh, five or six players to choose from at either a certain at a certain position where you're going from position to position to make this make your selection and you have to pick who you think will fit in that part of the field best um, you have to make sure to keep in mind things such as chemistry and all of that as well as their player stats so you know it, it's a pretty good um, thinking type of mode for people who are really into soccer like for me again don't hate me I'm not uh, a huge soccer fan so I was making some bonehead picks but if you're really into soccer you'll really get deep into this because you'll be really trying to think out who you want at this position who you think will work better will this person flow better with that person things like that it's very strategic and I like that about that um but overall pretty clean I mean again FIFA is FIFA um, if you want real definitive opinions on FIFA as far as you know going into more of the meta I highly recommend that you check out players like Curtis 7 and you check out um, the true Jordy I'll try to remember to put their links in the description so you can check them out they'll be covering FIFA all year round and giving you really solid information on the game and how it works overall especially once it's um, completely out they will definitely be the go-to guys for that type of stuff but anyway as always you guys hit me up let me know what you think and i'll holler at you later this your boy black megas and i'm out deuces